sold a few million records, hung out in Hollywood, gotten themselves arrested and sued, and now they're back. The Beastie Boys, that is. Rap's funniest and funkiest white act has a new production team, a new label, and a new album on the way called Paul's Boutique that proves they haven't been slacking off in the three years since their multi-platinum debut LP, Licensed to Ill. The boys themselves haven't changed much either, as we found out when we corralled them recently atop the Capitol Records Tower, high above Los Angeles. I myself am living large. Yo, I ain't shrimp toast. I, I like shrimp toast. Ain't it fucking enough? That's right, folks. They're back. Still those wacky, zany, crazy beasties. That those love. wild, crazy, beer-swilling beasties. Hey, lady! Funky. Yes, it's been three years since the Beastie Boys turned the music scene upside down with their multi-platinum license to ill LP. So what have they been doing since then? It's been a long time, you know, <laughs> since the Beastie Boys have emerged from the studio. You know, like the Beatles went in, they made a record, you know, and then they emerged from the studio. You know, we went in, it was a long time before we emerged. And Alice Cooper went in one time. A lot of people think we're fresh off the block, but the group has paid a lot of dues. We New feel like we've been doing this for a long time. We've paid <laughs> a lot of dues, a lot of dues paying going on. You know, I really love to do your hair sometime. Okay, so the Beasties have finally emerged, and the result of all their dues paying is a record called Paul's Boutique. I will say right now, for the record, none of us ever had to work in any boutique anywhere. Ever. And what sets this new record apart? This yeah. one folds out a lot more. The first one felt like folded out a couple of times. This one folds out a lot more. Paul's boutique is filled with fresh new samples. You know, we're just making music like anyone else. But what really stands out in the group's new video, Hey Ladies, is the new beastie look, one they've been cultivating since 1986. This is the new look for the Beastie Boys. I think Boys. we're talking about trying to bring the Superfly look back in for Christmas of 86. We're talking okay? about double-breasted coats down to the ankles, wide lapels, fur perhaps, Big, leather. big mink hats. That kind of look like the 1972 Knicks on the road. Yeah. Kind of. At a record-launching party last week, the band unfurled a very timely flag of its own. Nice flag. And as with any Beastie Boys interview, the talk soon turned to politics and the Supreme Court decision regarding flag desecration. You know, we wanted to do something with our own flag and create our own thing, and we put it up, and I don't think there's really anything wrong with that. It's like if the guy, if the guy from yeah. Gucci said, if you burn the Gucci, then you'd be, you'd be in jail. The Beastie Boys are planning to take their act on the road later this year, but this time out, they say, things will be a little more sedate. I'll say right now, you know, all we want is a hassle-free existence. Man, we're just trying to make some records and have a good time, you know? Just trying to have a good time. I don't know what's up with all these people all the time trying to come down on you. Hey, ladies! Paul's Boutique will be out on July 25th, complete with a cover that folds out to be four feet long. And the Beastie Boys will be supporting the LP with a tour, which is supposed to kick off in late August. Meanwhile, the Beastie Boys' old label, Def Jam, from which they had a less than amicable split, is threatening to release its own new Beasties LP called White House, a collection of old Beasties raps set to new music. No release date has been set, though. We'll keep you posted. That's the news for now. Stay tuned for more music on MTV. MTV News. You hear it first.